Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. That's a 170 second scale aircraft which copies Dornier 17 and now it's a Z2 version, so it's a World War II Finnish bomber. And as you can understand, it continues the lineup of the Dornier 17 from ICM. So this is a commercial sample, you will get exactly the same kit from uh, every model shop and now we have a chance to check it closer. So as you can see box design is quite typical for this manufacturer. We have this nice box art on the front. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's 170 second scale kit. That's why box is not that big in size. Then here we have also uh, some information about the kit and as you can see there are uh, how many? 180 parts, which will assemble into model with wingspan equal to 250 millimeters, which is quite impressive for 70 second scale. We also have sheet, short history note here. And on the other side, we have the same marking, which is depicted on the box art. So it is, it can be copied for sure. So now let's open it. Box structure is typical for ICM. So we have cover printed top cover. And once we remove it, we have sturdy white cardboard box which should protect everything inside. But inside we have all frames packed into the same plastic bag. So I would rather recommend to check everything before the purchase because as you can see it's a bit of tight fit here for example and also height wise. So it's better to open it if you have a chance. Now let's check first plastic ports and then we continue with assembly manual. But first let me remind you that we are getting money for the new photo and video equipment. Now we need to get the new tripod. So if you can help us it would be cool. You can do it by pressing the donate button on our website or maybe even by ordering the tripod so that you can be sure that we will get a proper one and it will be done with your help. So here we have first plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various external elements as you can see but we also have here engine parts here for example. Even though this is a 170 second scale kit still we get quite detailed engines for twin engine aircraft. That's quite surprising and let's zoom in so that you can see these parts closer. For example we start with engines. I uh, will focus the camera. Yes, now you can see it. So here we have engines, also we have exhausts and flaps. Note that engine gondolas should be assembled out of two halves. Then here we have also frontal section um, of the engine gondolas. Then here we have quite nice set of bombs. Winding gear parts here. Two propellers, which are, um, as you can see, secured by several attachment points. So be careful while separating them. Also, the same care should be applied with those thin parts which copy machine guns. Then again we have the same set of parts for another engine gondola. So we have another set of engine parts and another set of external panels. Overall molding quality seems to be nice. So I don't have any complaints here. And let's move on to the next sprue. Next sprue is the same in size because here we have this large long fuselage halves which are obviously molded without tail segment as you can see tail segment parts are here they should be glued out of two halves and they should be inserted here um, also you can notice some of the interior parts some of the landing gear parts so let's zoom in again so that you can see them in detail just give me a second so first of all landing gear wheels they will be assembled out of two halves so be careful while gluing them together. Overall design is quite good. And as you can see, we have special position elements here, which should help you with proper alignment, but I would rather opt out for resin replacement if you have a chance to get it. And, but don't consider it as a bad, let's say, sign, because even those plastic parts should look good once assembled and painted. Here we have also some interior parts, some tail parts, nose section which is molded as a one piece part. Here we have winding gear pieces. These are um, internal walls which will be inserted here in the middle section and they will copy some of the internal elements. 
those are mud guards for the landing gear wheels also we have separate ailerons not flaps so keep it in mind uh, what else we have here this is uh, should be a bombay cover also here we have dashboard parts and these are landing gear parts and note their shape as you can see they are complex shaped and they are thin so be careful while separating them and I would rather recommend to use a plastic saw so that you won't damage these parts while trying to get them off the sprue. Next we have this separate plastic bag which is used to store plastic sprue transparent plastic sprue and here it is so here we have canopy parts and as you can see molding quality seems to be really nice the only thing you will need here is masks because masks obviously are not included here so you will have to cut them or you will have to buy some aftermarket set because otherwise it will be quite tricky to mask all those transparent sections and we have one more transparent sprue here it is again packed into the separate plastic bag and here it is. So the same level of quality. So no worries about possible issues with this part. And last but not the least is this gray plastic sprue. Just give me a second to zoom out. So we have here wing parts. Wing parts are designed in a typical way. As I said before, we have separately molded ailerons. And as you can see here, we have the separate holders. As you can see, one is slightly broken. It's already broken so you will have to fix it but I mean that's the point of this kit because you have to check all the sprues or otherwise you will get uh, some broken elements nevertheless molding quality is really nice we have also recess panel lines here as you remember engine gondolas will be assembled separately and inside we have those raised surfaces which will help you with alignment of those parts together so that's all for plastic parts. Now let's move on to assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in form of this large cover printed brochure with short history note and technical specifications on the first page. Then we have a small decals sheet. Here it is. And let's bring, bring it closer so that you can see it in detail. Okay. Note that we have several decals for the cockpit, the copy dashboard, but of course if you can get the PE set, it would be better to use PE set for this model. Now let's return to assembly manual, because here we have parts map. Note that some parts won't be used, but their amount is surprisingly small. Then we continue with assembly process, which starts with cockpit area, then we continue with those separate walls, as you remember. And know that we have special guiding elements inside fuselage halves, so it won't be difficult to assemble or install everything in place. We glue together this fuselage house, we assemble wing parts, landing gear system. Then we continue with ailerons, installation of this wing on the fuselage. Then here we have the tail surfaces and their installation on the fuselage. Uh, all bombs will be used as you can see, then we have engine gondolas assembly or main landing gear system, here we continue with engine gondolas and we also assemble engine as you can see here, note that there are two options for assembly, then we install engines in place, we continue with canopy, canopy will be full with uh, machine guns and antennas, so be careful with it. Installation of landing gear system is depicted here, bomb bay doors, also canopy frontal section, and we have complete aircraft. So in total you will have to perform 77 steps to get your aircraft ready to be painted. Here you can see you know, two marking options as far as you can guess, and here you can see them in a profile view. So first one is a Finnish Air Force from February 1942. And this one is Finnish Air Force from Autumn 1942. So this one is depicted on the box art as far as I remember. So that's all for this video review. We have another nice small scale Dornier from ICM. It should be already available for purchase. You can get it, for example, in Modelimex. And in my opinion, that's quite a nice kit for 
uh, 170 second scale fans. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any new video review. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.